Our next caller is Ed Yari from Florida. Hey, Ed Yari, how can we help you? Hi, guys. How are you? I'm a huge fan, so thank you for taking the call. I um, I'm a new mom, so I got the the new mom bundle you guys put out a few months ago, and I am almost done with Maps um, Anabolic. I'm on the third phase, but my body composition changed for the worse. Like my my fat, it's just it got higher for some reason. Uh, maybe it's my lack of sleep. You know, the baby's just not having a good time with that. And I was just wondering if you have any recommendations, if I should change anything in the program and also what I can do once I'm done with um, anabolics. Yeah, no, great question. So um, you said bad sleep. Just how bad is your sleep? Um, well, the baby's waking up once or twice a night consistently. And once I put him down to bed, I'm, I'm, getting like maybe five, six hours tops every night. Okay. You know, so this is this is a very important point, and I'm, I'm glad you have this question because people need to understand this. Sleep is imperative, uh, just like diet um, or exercise in terms of getting your body to, to progress or change. And sometimes what we do aside from – because right now you can't control your sleep, right? You have a baby. I know this. I have a young one too. And sometimes you can't, there's not much you could do to control this. It's, it's hard, right? So you're sleeping five or six hours a night, which is not very much. So you have all these other factors that you can control. And sometimes the best you can do is mitigate the damage. In other words, you're maybe not going to get the best shape of your life, but you might be preventing your body from really declining uh, with, the, with your workouts and nutrition. Now, the second thing I want to ask is, uh, are you breastfeeding? Yes. Okay. I am. Okay. So while you're breastfeeding, your hormones uh, are not necessarily conducive to fitness. Now it's not a huge thing, but they are. Your hormones are set up in a way while you're breastfeeding where it might be more difficult to build muscle, get stronger, burn body fat, that kind of stuff. Um, are you noticing any other effects in the body? Is your strength any better? Are you? Yes. Noticing Everything else is like great. I'm. I'm making gains at the gym, right? Um, a lot less stressful. Um, I just, and, and the change is not that big. It went from like 32, uh, 31.8 fat, right? To like 32. So like oh. just a tiny little bit. And then my water weight just went up to, um, I'm just reading off the, the test that they did at the gym. But uh, it's not a lot. It's just that since I'm feeling so great, right, yeah. and I'm not weighting myself or anything. All right, that that's your yeah. that's your number one indicator right there. The fact that you you're feeling much better and you're getting stronger in the gym. I would actually. So I don't know how they're testing or who, who's testing yeah. you. Is it right, what it, kind of test is it? It's um, it's a in body like you kind of like oh, step yeah. on the machine barefoot and then you Sal hold the hand those. Do, sideways. Do you have the the paper with you from the in body? I do. Yeah. Okay, can, I do. You, I have can you hold it up for me for a second? Uh, which one, the first or the second? Yeah, the, both of them. Both of them. Yeah. Now take those and throw them in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> So, I love it. So, here, so here's the deal, okay? If you're stronger, it's very hard to get stronger and lose muscle. I just yeah. want you to know that. It's, I mean, it's possible. Uh, if there's like CNS issues going on, or, but extremely rare. If you're stronger, you probably didn't lose muscle. Now, the body fat percentage on those things, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I can literally mm -hmm. make my body fat percentage go down by 3 or 4% in the same day yep. on those stupid oh, wow. machines. By modifying my water intake yeah. and carbohydrates, they're, yeah, they're 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 super hard to be accurate. I, I wouldn't rely on those. Your most accurate measures are your performance. That's the most because it's you're either stronger or you're not. That's very objective. How right. you feel if you're telling me you have more energy and you feel good, that's yeah. a wonderful indicator. Body fat percentage tests, you know, even it's, even it's, caliper tests. It's not it's not bad, but it, you just have to you just have to. It's a guide, and it's mm -hmm. it's just another tool to get feedback. But you getting stronger and how you feel is more important than that. Like if you we were to or, order like, well, dude, it, it went it went up 0.2%. That, that's that what means I'm saying. My, yeah. So the fact that it is close, if it's within a percent to three percent 
where you were, I'm not really tripping up or down. So a percent to 3%, I'm not even tripping what's going on there. So long as the feedback I'm getting from my client is, man, I feel better at them. I'm getting stronger. We're adding weight to the bar every time right. we go in here. Like everything feels good, but I just, uh, the scale's not moving or the body fat percentage isn't moving. That's okay. We're actually, you're probably, believe it or not, in a really good place right yeah. now. Do you feel difference in the way your clothes fit and all that too? Like, yes. And okay. I have guns now. Look at this. Uh, exactly. <laughs> See, right. you know, the definition's uh, coming. Like, there's a lot of positive things yes, happening. Yes, it's great. I feel, I feel really good. I was just so surprised. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I just, I thought of uh, uh, reaching out to you guys. Uh, you converted me from a cardio bunny to like uh, weight training and following a program. I actually know what I'm doing at the gym now. I'm a lot more confident in that space. Awesome. And, um, so yeah, what what should I do after baths? Though? Okay, well, okay, so um, I'll tell you, but let me ask you a couple other questions. Um, okay. If you don't mind me asking, how tall are you, and how much do you weigh? I am five six, and I am one seventeen, one sixteen. Oh, dude. oh yeah, you're you're, you're, you're doing you're, great. You're you're doing absolutely fine, especially if your strength uh, has gone up. You're telling me you have guns now. Here's okay. You want you want to know the truth? I'm going to break this down. I'm going to piss off a lot of gym owners and trainers. Do you know why there's an in body machine in the gym? So they can sell you, you know, sessions. One hundred percent. Yes. That's, you feel that's, bad about yourself. That's the tool. So a trainer is going to look at your thing and he's like, "Oh, uh, we could do this." So we, it's it, it, it presents itself as an objective measure. It's not extremely objective. You, all those other things are far more important. That literally throw that in the garbage. I would I would totally toss that. The only time I use body fat percentage with people were caliper or underwater weighing, and it was when we were like specific. Like yeah. I'm training someone and they're advanced and we're trying to see if we can, you know, manipulate their body fat by a percent or two. Otherwise right. it was a total waste of time. Performance was a way better measure in terms of success. Okay. So after maps anabolic, if you're feeling good, you're feeling strong, you're feeling fit. The next uh, program to follow is maps performance. That's the okay. best program to follow. You're still going to continue progressing. You're going to still feel better. You're going to notice that your strength is still improving, but now there's more of an emphasis on movement, integrating the whole body, proprioceptive ability. This is knowing where your body is in space. You're going to get a little bit more of a, of a stamina component towards the end of that program. Um, okay. That's the next program I would say you should follow. And if you don't have that, we'll make sure we send that over to you. Ah, thank you so much. I love it. I got like... Oh my God, I have gotten the MILF t-shirt and I always get super funny comments at the gym when I wear it. <laughs> and then when they read it, right, they're like, where'd you get that? So I have told two moms at the gym to go and get it for you guys. Uh, that's um, great. Excellent. It's great. You're a I walking really billboard. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for wearing that. Thank you for, for for listening to the podcast. And again, when you go back to that gym, if they ask you to do the in-body, just... Give him the finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So aggressive. Thank yeah, you. I like it. <laughs> Thank Thanks you so much, guys. No problem. Right. I hate those stupid machines. I ah, swear to God. Is. I've had to, I, uh, more often than not, I've had to like, I, help people I, through. I love them. I like them. It's a, you know, it's just another tool that we have that we didn't have, you know, several decades ago. So the fact that we have, it's just, we as had long as you know all the little I mean, discrepancies that they provide. Yeah, like like this right here. Like, But okay. I, I knew right away, that was why my question right away was how, what, what she's doing. How, how is she getting that, that body fat percentage? And it's common. That I mean, how sad is that? Like she's got all these wonderful metrics. For all intents and purposes, she's kicking ass. Yeah. Especially considering she's got a newborn, which is really tough. Yeah. And then she gets this test, and now she's like, "Oh my gosh!" She's questioning all those positive things. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. I have. I don't know if it's terrible. It's just, it's just that conversation needs to be had. Not a lot of good trainers uh, know how to have that conversation yet. To your point, that it's a great selling tool for them. Most of their desired outcome is to get you on personal training sessions, so they're going to lean whichever way is more advantageous for selling more sessions. So. Uh, but the the conversation is just simply that it's just one more tool that we have to give get feedback on the direction. I love it, especially when I I am on like a bulk right and I'm putting weight on. 
I like to do it multiple times. And if I get multiple readings showing that my body fat percentage is is dramatically gone up, I adjust my diet. You know what though? I think you need to explain though how you do it because I've seen you do it and yeah. you do it at the same time every day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Same food. Yeah. Same well, because everything. Because I long time ago when that M body first came out, I intentionally fucked with it in a day. I went and did it three times in a day uh, throughout the day. And I played with my water, my carbon intake, the time, everything. And I could get a, a readings yeah. that were five, 7% different all over the place, all over the place. So that that's what makes them. But if you do a good job of say, staying fasted, doing it first thing in the morning, no water, no anything, they should be pretty close and a good gauge on, okay, I'm, I'm just adding that. Okay, I feel good. Strength is going good. And then on top of that, body fat percentage is hovering around the same place. All right, I'm in a good place. Yeah, now, if it came back and it was mm -hmm. like dramatically off, I still wouldn't freak out. I would test again. You know, just let's let's stay the course for another week. Let's test again. Does it stay on that trajectory or does it level off or go back the other direction? So Yeah, and it's important. I, I think that's an important point. You control all – you're essentially doing a study on yourself, if you will, where you're controlling all the controllables because you want to make sure everything is the same each time you do it so that it doesn't waver because your, your water intake changed, for example. But I loved it for this. So when I would get ready for – and, of course, it, it it's – for someone who's competing, I think it's really helpful, right? So when I would go from switching from bulking over to a cut, like for the show, um, a lot of times I would cut a little more aggressive than I should. Uh, and I like, okay, I'm going to reduce, you know, mm -hmm. six, 700 calories and I'm starting to move more and I'm dropping weight. Well, that's great. But then when I go and do a body fat test, you know, two weeks in a row and I see that two weeks in a row, I have lost as much muscle as I have lost body fat, you know, that I'm not moving percentage wise. Yeah. I adjust, oh, I need to feed more. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting too much. And so I increase calories. So if it wasn't for that, I'd have a heart cause you would, I would definitely be looking like I'm getting smaller and leaner and heading the right direction. But because I had a resource like that, that I could use that. Okay. I'm probably cutting too fast and too aggressively. So I think they're useful tools. I just think that you get a, a client who isn't versed enough in all the other factors and variables that play into the reading of that number. And, you know, quite frankly, the how you feel and strength is far more important. Yeah. And it's, you know, even with competing, I've actually had friends that has, this has screwed them up where. Yeah. I have buddies that don't use it. I have well, buddies that. No, I have, I know people who have you have gotten body fat tests and they're not using the mirror because when you're on stage, it's about how you look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, my body fat's going down. I'm doing okay. Even though people are like, oh, you're not looking as sharp or. You know, it's not going down, but I'm looking really good. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna cut more aggressive, and it screws with them. I think it really important to understand, kind of what you're explaining. There's, yeah. you got to look at a lot of different things. Yeah, no, I'm using steps and what I've been training consistently. I'm taking all, and that's why I like it because it's just one more piece of data. You're aggregating all of the metrics yeah, that, together. That's yeah, that's relatively close. Yes, it can be manipulated, but if you do, if you tease out a lot of things that will make it a huge difference, like. If you're uh, inconsistently tracking your water and you test that thing one day on a Monday at noon and then another time at 7 o'clock at night and think that the carbon tank and the water intake difference is not going to change that, you're a fool. It's yeah. going to. It's yeah. going to manipulate that machine. And so you have to be consistent. You have to at least tease out the things that are definitely yeah. going to dramatically I've, change I've just it. seen more people get messed up by those tests than, than not. That's all. I've just seen more people come to me and be like, my God, I was doing so good. My performance is good. My clothes yeah. fit good. Or or the reverse. Wow, I thought I was gaining so much body fat, but it says I got leaner. I'm like, well, uh, you did gain yeah, body fat. Your average person isn't going to consider all those other metrics. It messes it with their together. head. Yeah, yeah so no, it's going to look at it like straight up. Like, oh no, I'm gaining fat. Yeah, that's what happened to her. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's a great tool for the average person who doesn't know how. I mean, but for a coach, it's a phenomenal tool. I loved it. I yeah. loved having a body fat test. That's a good point. Yeah. Having someone like you decipher it through all the other metrics and controls yeah. makes sense. Yeah, it's no no different than a doctor using some of the tools that he has to get to the bottom yeah. if you're healthy or not. Doesn't mean like the blood pressure reading isn't the end all be all if you're healthy or not. BMI but you can pretty much throw out half the time. Yeah, too. yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just another thing that you have to be careful of. And I do think this is very common that client, I, even the scale. So I, I I was looking for either one. She was going to tell me she doesn't do body fat tests and she's just using the scale as her thing. 
or she does some, you know, uh, you know, what do you call the digital electronic impedance? Yeah, yeah the electronic, yeah, electronic impedance, impedance type yeah. of machine that is, you know, easily manipulated up or down. 